Hello, this is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech, where your geeky grandpa talks how to tech, fun stuff, and much, much more from a grandpa's point of view. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about expanding the ports in the front of your computer. Um, I built a new computer for myself, but realized I was missing some ports that I would like to have in the front to be able to easy access. So before we get started, please hit that like button and the share. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you'll know when I'm on. So let's get started about that right now. So my computer, uh, after I built it, I realized that the front of my computer only had one USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0s and the audio in and the uh, microphone in. But uh, I do a lot of photography and a lot of other things and I needed access, easy access to the ports. So I decided to expand that by adding this, which is basically uh, a plate that goes into in your computer in your five and a quarter inch slot uh, or three and a half inch slot and it gives me additional two two 3.0 uh, ports it gives me a full size SD and a micro SD and importantly because everything is now USB-C um, so I began to, to install it but then I realized I had a problem and that is that unfortunately this one plugged into the original on the motherboard 3.1 uh, port connector which means if I had to unplug it I would lose that other 3.0 um, port I said that's unacceptable so what I decided to do is I picked up this little riser board uh, as you can see, it basically has on the back, it adds two 3.2 uh, USB high speed ports and it allowed me an additional connector for my uh, port. And so that's essentially where I began. So let's look into what I did and uh, I'll show you how it worked. So I finished installing it. As you can see, that little board connects into the PCE. Now, I took this wire, the blue wire, that was plugged into my motherboard, this one right here. And I plugged this into that, and then the one from the little connector, which we're, we're setting up, I plugged into the motherboard directly, because that has more usage. Now, the one thing you have to always do is, of course, dress all your wires. And then check everything as you've been moving stuff. Because what I found, look at this, that the yellow wire on this connector had come out. And so anyway, as you can see, I put in the new connector. That's when I'm plugged into the, directly to the motherboard, which gives me now, instead of one, two USBs, the SD cards, and the USB-C. Now that one here is plugged directly into that little riser board which gives me the expandability. And as you can see, I repaired that wire that came out. So again, when you, anytime you're in your PC, you wanna just look over all your wiring, you wanna dress it, you wanna keep all the wires clean and neat, uh, because if you don't, um, they can rub against the fans and things of that nature. As you can see, it's, it's a very simple procedure. I'm, I happen to be using also a, a 3.25 to it or five and a quarter inch uh, adapter to, to bring, fill it into the drives bay I used a five and a quarter inch bay um, and I happen to put it into the PCE slot of course I, your computer may be different that's one of the reasons why I don't like the new cases that they're coming out um, they don't offer any expandability okay basically it's a panel in the front and there's no bays uh, to add anything to which I think the manufacturers are making a mistake 
I this have I purchased when I built this. I used a Roswell case, which happened to have two five uh, and a quarter inch bays in the front, which allowed me to add a CD-ROM and such. But that's on another video. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, a way of expanding your computer and having everything up front and easy to use. Until next time, this is KC from KC Grandpa Tech App. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like. Until next time, this is KC out.